Hey everybody, uh, today I wanted to talk about one of my all-time favorite westerns, The Wild Bunch. Now, I'm fairly well versed in the western genre, although I wouldn't consider myself a diehard. I, you know, I haven't seen every John Wayne film, I don't know every obscure cowboy reference, but still, I'm a fan of, of westerns, and I've seen most of the classics, and caught most of the modern day stuff as well, so uh, I'm a fan. And I would really consider the Wild Bunch to be the Western that broke the mold. All right, everything the film was made, I think, in the mid '60s, early to mid '60s, and everything prior to that had kind of this this style to it, uh, shared similar qualities. And then the Wild Bunch just came along and 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 shattered everything. Uh, this is a very gritty film. It's uh, a, a harsh look, uh, which kind of hadn't been captured up until that time, and it really just uh, freed up the the entire genre. And it's a groundbreaking film, and it's just a groundbreaking film in general because um, not only did this break the mold of the western, it, it sort of broke the mold you know, in, in film trends in general, and it still holds up, still a very, very strong film. And uh, this is really credit to Sam Peckinpah. He's the director, and I think he co-wrote the film. And the film stars Ernest Borgnine and William Holden, and they are two aging cowboys who run this gang. And they rob trains, they rob banks, they're ruthless, they are killers. They'll do whatever it takes. But despite this kind of uh, moral aberrance, they, they still have this code that they live by. You know, it's kind of this old way uh, of honor, uh, integrity, uh, that sort of thing. So it's kind of this interesting contrast of, of philosophies that, that they're able to, to maintain. And... The film starts out, and the bunch rides into this uh, little town, and they're having kind of a, a parade. It seems like a, a weekend. There's lots of people out. And they ride up to this bank, and they go inside, and they rob this bank. And within the first five minutes, we have, we've got a bank robbery here. And the bunch is being staked out by this... Uh, group of guys that's been hired by the railroads because they've been robbing so many trains the the railroad wants to shut down the, this gang so they're staking out the the bank and they know that the bunch is coming so suddenly this big shootout takes place and I mean, right away bam we've got the shootout the townsfolk are caught in the middle of this shootout now uh, they're uh are people just mowed down, innocent bystanders just wasted. I mean, this is just a, a you know crazy opening uh, firefight. And the film was very controversial at the time, and I, I think still is, just for the amount of graphic violence. I mean, there wasn't a lot of gunshot wounds really ever shown uh, to the extent that uh, was shown in The Wild Bunch up until that point. I mean, they've got, you know bullet holes, blood spraying, you know, people are mowed down, and it, this film was just so highly criticized for the amount of killing that, that takes place, and I mean, it, it it's just a bloodbath, and you really don't know what's going on, you're just, you know, you're, you know it's this gang coming in, and you learn more about the gang, and so they get out, they escape, and they head out towards Mexico, well, one of the guys that used to ride with the bunch it got arrested and the railroad is using him to get to the bunch to trail the bunch and and they're kind of holding up his prison sentence uh, over his head so he'll go out and and lead everybody to the bunch so he takes this posse off to follow them uh, as they escape and head down towards Mexico and this story unfolds the guys get into Mexico and they run across this uh, general named uh, Mapache, who's just this uh, ruthless warlord. He, he rules over all the little pueblos and, and towns, and he you know pillages them and takes their women. And uh, he's very powerful, and they have this whole uh, exchange with Mapache, and this you know crazy story unfolds. Uh, the Wild Bunch, though, 
despite its you know graphic nature, it, it, you know the killing and everything that goes on, it it has several different uh, th themes running through it, and and one in particular is the aging cowboy caught in between uh, the old way of the West and and the new industrial age, and the film I believe takes place you know in the night early 1900s. Uh, not exactly sure which year, but they come across this different technology like uh, the automobile. Um, Apache's guys drive this car around, and they uh, they have a, a machine gun that, that comes into play. And uh, the towns are, are much more civilized now. There's more law and order. It's more the rule of law uh, than the rule of the gun. And the railroads are, are vast and connected and more secure so that they're having a harder time, uh, you know, running around pillaging and robbing and, and doing as they wish. And they recognize this. They recognize that they're kind of fading off into obscurity. And uh, it's just an interesting uh, portrayal of how they sort of clash with this, with this new age of industrialization so very well done on that level uh, I have to say that uh, The Wild Bunch is a great film the only complaint that I could have of it if any uh, it's, one of my, it's probably one of my all time favorites is that it it can drag slightly it's a bit long you know it's not quite three hours but it's, it's definitely uh, a long film so you kind of have to sit with it but there's tons of payoff in this film and I have to say that that ending of this film is just completely outrageous i mean it is there's i've never seen anything like it to this day uh and it's you know almost comical in a way and i kind of think that that even there was a a bit of kind of underlying humor to it that that plays through and it just peckinpah got this whole thing to work and i mean he pulled it off and i haven't seen a film uh do what the wild bunch uh has done you know really since i mean it's just an incredible film so definitely check it out uh it's the wild bunch take care it's jay crash